Welcome back, welcome back. And this is, if I'm correct, the third episode. Now, in prior, the past episode, we went over some terms so that you will be able to understand and uh, use some of the language as we move forward into exploring the stock market and our decisions on entering and exit, which would lead into my next topic on how do we enter, when do we enter, when do we exit? So today's episode is going to be filled with a bunch of information and a bunch of tools that you will be utilizing I utilize on a daily basis to help me make my decisions on every trade. And the beautiful part about this is that using these tools, you don't just use one tool or two tools. You want to be able to use multiple tools that allow us to know, hey, this is when to enter and this is when to exit. We want to be able to see multiple signals, multiple signals that saying, yo, now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time right instead of just one or using our imagination or the gut feeling that we may have right so let's just dive right into this thing i don't want to kill you with too much back talk open your fidelity active trader pro account which we created in class one so you're more than welcome to go back and check that and open up uh, your fidelity active trader pro the market is closed right now, and that's not an issue. We're just going to go over some of the tools. I'm going to use a stock as an example, and we're just going to go through. I'm going to break down this actual platform called Active Trader Pro. And in fact, I may break it down into a two part episode because I don't want to overkill you with so much information in one. I want you to be able to take what I'm giving you and put it into practice, right? Get your specific time and take your time, make a small investment, whatever you're willing to, to put in what you can afford. Use these tools, get your practice in. And then as I give you more in other episodes you get to be able to add on to that bit of information as time progresses on so let's dive right into it your fidelity active trader pro is open here this is just a daily dashboard you see the market is closed here it will let you know the time until the market is open and the market is closed simple stuff we don't really want that we can get out of there right now, this is already open to this chart here is already open to American Airlines. If you don't have this chart at the moment, simply go to charts, new chart. And you can type in the underline, the stop, but we would use the ticker symbol. So American Airlines is AAL, right? And you would click return. So which would take you into the same screen that I have back here. I'm just going to exit this. You may want to open a full screen so that we're on the same, same page. I'm just going to delete this because I'm going to get into what this is later on. I think I already have this pre-saved if I'm correct, or you may have this also. If not, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. So I'm just going to eliminate that for a moment. Now, you may be seeing the screen literally just like this. Some people want to know, what are we looking at? And that's the goal at the moment to be able to break this thing down. So you're not just seeing lines of red and green and wanting to know what is this chart. So let's take our time and get into this. So. You know how to find the stock, right? We will put in the ticker symbol here, and this is where you'll simply find the stock. Next to it, there is the price of the actual underline. This shows you if it's going up or down within the day as the price action happens. Let's go down to the bottom. So you would notice that there are days today, two days, five days, 10 days, one month, three months, six months, 
and so on, right? We also have a frequency that you'll be able to see. So let's just give an example if we're doing today. We can check the chart on a one minute interval. You can check it on, you can put in a custom here for three minutes or seven minutes, whatever. Let's leave it at three minutes. I'm not just gonna tell you whatever, let's leave it at three minutes. You can apply, click apply. So now you see it, instead of it being as far zoomed out now, it's a bit in a sense zoomed in on a three minute interval with less candlesticks here. Remember we went over the candlesticks in last episodes and you see a bunch of dojis, you recognize these dojis because we went over them. You should be able to understand, oh wow, this is a upside down hammer. Mm, okay, I see uh, another a big hammer. This is more like a club. I see some equal action happening here. So you, you're able to look at this and understand a little bit based on the, the doji that we just simply went over in last class. Let's give, go into five minutes. You see it's even more zoomed in, a lot more detailed and closer into the action of five minutes, is five minute intervals. Each one of these candlesticks represent the time period that is taking place within the day. So there's five, ten, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and so forth, right? For longer investments, let's say if you want to be able, if you're thinking you're investing for the long run, you get into, you know, the 10 minutes, the 30 minutes, the daily, and we can do, we can search the daily on the base of, let's just imagine one month. If you're thinking, hey, I want to be able to invest in something long, more long term, you know, you can get into the one month, the two month, the year, the six months, year to date. And these give you more options, right? Self-explanatory. So let's just go back to today. I want to be able to break this down and get us very simplified. Okay, what we would like to do now is let's go into settings. So let me just break down settings for you, right? Here you have the chart type. What we're currently looking at on our background here are candlesticks that are filled, right? You have candlestick standard, and these aren't filled. Let's just, we can zoom in here. If we like to zoom in with the zoom in tool, we can zoom in to any specific point and we can see what these candlesticks would look like on a standard. I'm not a big fan of this. Maybe you may be a big fan of it. This isn't my specific choice. Neither is it many other investors choice let's go back to settings that's what standard look like just to give you an example all right you have the hollow candle candlesticks where all of them are hollow now which you can see we have the candlestick filled which in my opinion is the best because we're able to see this thing fill up we're able to see this thing load as it goes up or as it goes down. We're able to tell how it's moving. It just fills it up and it, it makes it seem a lot simpler. So now here we have the line graph, right? We can zoom out here if needed to. Let's just apply this line graph. We can zoom out and you see the action instead of it being in a candlestick form we have it in a line form this line form is very great for creating trend lines 
which we'll get into in a few minutes. And remember this part. I just want to break down the sentence first for you, okay? So you also have the mountain grid, more of the classic feel. You have the OHLC. We can apply this here and we can zoom in just so you can be able to see exactly what it looks like. I'm definitely not a fan of this, won't recommend this while you're doing your trades. But if you would like, it is the same. Here you can basically see this is the opening and the closing. You have your shadow or your, your wicks there at the top and at the bottom. Sorry about that. So let's just zoom zoom back out here and go dive deeper into the settings here. And for now, what we want to do is have the candlesticks filled. This is the way that we're going. When we're making trades, we want to be able to have it in filled. It will allow us to know more precisely when to get in and to get out. Linear here is based on the dollar amount. It's the price and axis. Log, log, logarithmic is more for the percentage price and axis. The show and hide section has a very interesting part here. It has, we can click on to this box here where it says show price volume distribution. This allows us to see the volume in a chart to where we can see the most trading and price action is happening. Here is where most is the highest volume of buyers and sellers getting into this specific underline. Very interesting one when we put it together with all of our other tools. I'll show you how that comes together. Let's get back in to the colors. You can change the colors. Some people are colorblind to the greens and the reds. So if these colors don't work for you, you're more than welcome to change the color to something like blue that works a lot better for your eyes or your logical sense in a way you know they make it red and green so green means go red means stop but you can make money on the stop going down we'll get into that later here you can simply change the opacity of the grids that's simply you see these lines back here we can change the brightness the opacity is just simply the visibility of it the watermark of the logo which is back here we can also change the opacity of it. See the American here, this is the watermark. We can turn that down to the percentage. Uh, I just like to keep it down a little bit, but I also do like to visibly see it so that I can know which specific underline that I'm in for that day. Right, and we can simply click apply and that would handle all of those setting options there other things for us to get into let's move into the technical analysis we can get into the support and resistance we didn't speak about support and resistance but what support and resistance lines are are areas into where the stock is supported at the bottom and is resisted at the top so the lines move within this area field. We can click into this, but this would be more supported into a daily or weekly or monthly chart if you're thinking more of a long-term investment, which we can create our own support and resistance line, which I would get into, but I just wanted to be able to show you this just in case you're thinking more of a long-term. And I would stretch this long-term here to about, let's just say six months and you can see it automatically switch to daily. So now we can go into technical analysis and we can create a support and resistance line here. So what this line does is 
it shows you where most of the action is happening, the trend of it, you see. This would be useful for more of the long-term investments. Me personally, my goal at this moment is to get in and to get out. But here you can see the support line at the bottom, the resistance line at the top. Let's simply take this off. I just wanted to be able to show you that so you can understand. So we will stay back on track with today and we can move that frequency back to one minute. A lot of information, but let's take our time, dive into this thing, take a breather, pause the video if you need, and let's get into even more exciting tools that we utilize. All right, take a breath. Here are the indicators. Indicators are every stock's trader best friend. It's the thing that we all turn to. You will be using this, get very acquainted with this thing. So indicators, you have many different indicators here that we can utilize from. And this is where this is this is your home base this is everything in my opinion right it allows you to know when to get in when to get out and as i said before we would use multiple tools multiple indicators to be able to let us know like yeah yes yes this is saying yes this is going up yes this is going down instead of just using one all right so let's just get into some of my favorite there are many others that you can choose. I would recommend some as the ADX. You can type it in. And this is the average directional index. And you'll see it load here at the bottom. So the beauty of this indicator is very sim simple. It allows us to see marvelously. So once this orange and green line crosses it lets us know that something is going to happen here right and now if we can see that the green line is the plus which shows most of the action of what that stock is doing right so it crosses here and now you can see once i hover over this specific line with this with my cursor tool you'll notice that whatever wherever i'm moving this specific cursor it happens at the top here all right so you can see the dot following on the first the the first grid here right so it shows that it's gonna come down right because we see the green line underneath the orange here taking a dive under which if you look closely you can see that a dive is happening here so anytime you see the green and orange crossing there's something that's going to happen whether it goes up or it goes down for how long is where we get very very more detail and we would use other indicators to allow us to know hey is this going to happen a longer time period or is this going to happen a shorter time period should i get out now or should i stay in to hold my money right so we see it came the green came up a bit which here the movement of the stock did did go up but it came right back down now it shows us here that it crosses and it takes a deeper dive here as the orange and the green intersect with each other now it intersects here again it just touches each other but the spacing of it you have to be very aware of this spacing between these two lines because that's letting you know how far or how deep that is going into that motion, into that direction, sorry. And this is beautiful for us to know 
that, hey, this is going down for a very long time because just simply looking at the space between these two lines here and what you can see here that it took a trend completely going down. And now once it crossed over, eventually it crossed over here, we see some upward momentum, but price action with the underline and it went up and now it crosses again as it's going up and there we go another big space between the two lines that lets us know like hey we may be going into a peak and if you're if if you're being very alert attentive to this thing we can see that we're creating they're creating peaks here and that may let us know that hey something else is going to happen because there's a peak all right let's be very attentive to show that okay there's a peak here it is going to come down how deep do we know not at that specific time because minutes will be moving on right but if you're in here to get the money as it's going up you may notice to yourself hey maybe this may be a time that i want to get out or we can utilize our other additional tools which may say you know what this may just be a retracement, not a reversal in a sense. Remember, we went over these terms. And I can stay in a bit longer to ride, eventually ride this wave. I hope you're paying attention to the, my cursor. Ride this wave, which it eventually goes up even more on the longer term. And that's just one indicator. We can move into another one of my favorite indicators here. The... EMA exponential moving average this is like God's gift to traders in my opinion now what what we want to do here follow my cursor here we have the EMA and it's on a 20 day we can click modify, delete, or add another indicator, right? So the period that we have now is at 20. We can change the color, we can change the thickness of the line, and we can change the style of the line, right? We'll leave this blue for now and leave the 20. 20 is basically the average. It's a good one to check on, I'm not going to lie. It's a good line to, to follow. We'll apply that. What I would also like to do is add on some other additional exponential moving averages. Why? Because as I add in other exponential moving averages, I can do one and change that 20 period to 10. So now what 10 does, we can change the color of the 10 here. Let's modify that and make the color something more visible to the eye and we'll go with the pink right and if you notice i'm gonna zoom in here in a specific region here the pink in itself the 10 ema period is closer to the candlesticks than the 20 right this is giving you way more of a way more of a detailed time frame it's a lot closer it's a lot more intricate i would also add in another ema exponential moving average and this time i would like to make this i'm going to modify this for a time period of 30 and i'm going to change the color here let's make it orange right and apply so what am i looking at here what i'm showing you here is grid lines that has multiple alerts that's showing you a time to get in and a time to get out now based on the closeness of these lines you can use this relatively to when you want to get out or when you want to get in based on a stop and sell stop and limit loss 
We didn't go over those words in the last class, but I'll touch on it now. So say that you have a underline, a specific underline, and you notice that it may be going down and you're in the investment of it going down, going up. So you can put a stop limit on it, which would tell the the platform, the trading platform that, hey, I would like for it to stop at this specific number. Let's just say you bought a stock for five dollars and it went up to fifteen dollars. But you want to tell the computer tell the platform that hey I want to stop my sale if it drops down to fifteen dollars no sorry if it drops down to thirteen dollars but my limit that I wanted to completely take it out at is at ten dollars right and we create this because sometimes the stock may go down and come right back up or the action of the trade, the, the volume of the trade may be so much that it may skip the $13 that you put in and for it to at the stop. And now you have your limit as a backup to say, hey, I'm willing to take less than $13, but my limit is $10. So in that sense, with those numbers, you would have be at a profit of $5 automatically, right? So what I mean by that, you can look at these lines to create your stop limit loss also, right? Let's just say you decided you're going to use the, let's go for sake of the 20 period EMA. You notice that this price range here is at about $13 and 61 cents. It's between these two lines. Sorry, we didn't touch on this. If you look to the right, these are this is the price uh, at which the specific candle is rising up to or going down to. Here is the price of it to the right. Now, Say, let's just say you bought in here at around, let's follow this line here. You bought in at 1346, and I'm using this as, a, as an example. And you notice that you're riding this wave up here. You're just riding the wave because once these lines are underneath the candlestick, it also tells us the direction that it's going into. Before we get into that, I want to just touch base on where you'll be able to sell and put your stop and your limit loss. So you notice that this trend is going upward and you're riding that thing, right? Now you notice that it's coming down. So do you know if it's going to be a reversal or a tracement? You may not know. You may not know how deep it may be going down. So when do you get out here? So you can create a stop loss stop limit sell right here so you may stop it at let's just say $13.61 but you can put your limit here which would be at $13.59 so instead of taking still riding it down and waiting for it to come up instead of coming all the way down here to $13 and let's just say, what is that? Yeah, 56 cents. You can get out at a higher, at a higher rate from when you jumped in here at $13.46. What is another great example is that we would notice that Whenever these lines, these exponential moving average lines cross over any one of these candlesticks, this may be an indication of the action, the direction where the stock is headed, whether it be up or whether it be down. There are times that it may cross both candlesticks. 
right? But remember, what we learned in the past class is which is the strongest action of each candlestick. We can look at this candlestick here, and it simply shows us that this is the most bullish of the mall candlestick. There's no wick, no shadows at the top, nor the bottom. So precisely, you should know, hey, this thing is going to be very, very bullish at this specific moment. I gave you a mouthful today. There are other indicators that I'm going to get into, and we'll take that into the next episode. So for now, enjoy the exponential moving averages. These things are wonderful. Remember the ADX, also the average direction, directional index. You utilize these tools and combine them together to let you know that, hey, you know what? Once this line crosses over this candlestick and it's showing me based on what I've learned with the dojis and which one is the strongest bearish or bearish bullish candlestick, when to jump in and I can ride this specific time period up and I can make me a couple of pennies, depending on which underline it is, it can be dollars, and you can get in and get out at a profit. The goal is to always make profits. And the beauty of this is that once you understand all of this, you can look at this specific time period. Let's go into three minutes, just to zoom in a bit. We can look at all of these time periods and notice that, hey, I can ride this momentum here and I can make money here. I can ride this specific momentum here and make money here. Why? Because let's come down to the ADX. It shows me, sorry, it shows me here within the, the orange and the green. If you look at the, at the bottom here, it shows me that at this specific point, I can ride here and as it's going up in momentum and that's where I can make money. It crosses, it also shows me that, hey, this thing is going down and it's really not in my best interest to get in at that point in time. So here's a specific part where we can ride in another point. We can utilize the EM, EMA lines here. Also, I'm back at the top. We can say, hey, look, this just crossed the candlestick and this is a very, we get a first, well, we get a first uh, signal here, actually, once it crosses this candlestick and we have two specific candlesticks that allow us to know that, yeah, this may be where it's going because we have two two strong candlesticks versus one and then it crosses the line again and we can ride this wave going upward and we can get out here because the EMA also shows us that it's crossing over uh, red candlesticks specifically. These are some wonderful tools. We're going to get into even more indicators in the next episode I hope that you enjoyed what this was. Uh, utilize these. Use these for um, your next trades within the upcoming week. Practice. Get your practice in. Understand the actions of the stock and get to it. Again, um, don't forget, you can check out my merch merchandise store. I'm even wearing one of them right now, AFD. Uh, we have the hands here so you can check those out uh, you can also join in and sign up for my watch list where I, I'll send you a list of stocks that I currently watch or I can send you a different variation from stocks that's below $50 
if you're now starting out and you want to be able to start smaller, sign up for it. You should have a watch list. What stocks do we choose? Which are best for us based on the finances that we have? I'll also get into that later on into the course. But if you want to be able to see what stocks that I'm watching on a daily basis where I'm putting my money into, sign up. Let's get to it. It's winning season, people. Let's get to this money.